Franklin. I make gigs. Today we're going to be playing Slain and we are going to be trying to get all of the achievements. So here's the first cutscene and everything. Bathrin is our name. So apparently we're like some immortal person, I guess. Or no, I guess we're dead. And now we're being brought back to life, I guess. That's pretty cool. So there wasn't the default one is like an arrow key scheme and I was like what the heck is this but uh, thankfully they had a second scheme that was WASD. So the first level is the blood grounds as the vile armies of Lord Roll surged from the fallen southern lands of Chal. Is that a L or a T? Chal. Those who stood defiantly against the invading monstrosities were butchered without mercy. Victory was swift and brutal. And in the wake of the rampant horde, all corners of the land were left awash bl with blood. Alright. So this is like, uh... So the achievements are pretty much all, like, uh, beat the game without losing any health, beat this boss without losing any health, and beat this boss without using any mana. All right, so the first achievement is to beat the game without losing any health, so that's gonna take a couple, uh, a couple of tries. So it looks like uh, we can do a power attack too. Oh, you have to you have to time it just right, or otherwise it restarts the animation. Okay, and then you can block too. And I know there's like a there's like a parry, so you can block at right at the last second, and then uh, and it will like parry them. But should I do a parry real quick? Okay, so that's the parry, and that's the critical strike. Oh, it turns AOE. That's cool. And we've already lost health, so already lost that achievement so far. We're gonna have to do a, a new game. Okay, uh, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to get good at this parry. Okay, and then Q is to fire our mana spirit, which uses our mana. We don't want to do that. So a lot of the achievements we can go ahead and do by beating stuff with no mana. And we are already about to die. That looks like a trap. Wonder if these guys get hurt by the trap, because there is a uh, there is an achievement for watching things die to a trap. No, they don't. Oh, so that sucks. I guess there's gonna be traps later on. No! All right, there's the first death. What? That was so far away from me. Even got knocked back. 
Oh wait, what? Blocking... Blocking always loses health? Wait, let me see. Yeah, what? So I can't block the entire game. I can't use mana the entire game. I do have a dodge. How do I, yeah, there's my dodge. So I can only pretty much dodge the entire game. Because if I, if I block, then I still lose health. So I guess critical striking doesn't really matter for me. Okay, well that's kind of lame. platform and these are checkpoints I'm guessing what are these charge up a brutal attack oh yeah I can do my brutal attack destroyed okay so that gives me little whatever those little balls are oh I guess those little balls are for my mana okay I don't know how often I'm gonna be doing this power attack that's actually actually really annoying that I can't it like resets the animation the second it's done with a little charge what is this good grief he's got a lot of range I guess did he go underground or did he die he went underground oh I don't know how low my health was right there I tried to I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I was trying to dodge. Oh great, we got that flying dude after us again. I guess that's just a spawner that spawns them infinitely. Ugh. Why would I want to sit there? I guess that's just a practice. Okay, I'm retarded. Huh. <sighs> This is why I don't like these moving platform parts. I hate moving platforms in games. It's so dumb. It's like, dude, what is that range that this guy has? Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get a feel for the dodge. I was trying to, I think I can jump over him if I do my dodge right. Like, uh, no, I can't. Dude, his range is so far. All right, do your attack. I can't really do anything against you except that's not the way I want to dodge. What is he gonna come up at right there? So you can't do your dodge to cancel your attack. You pretty much have to do it after your attack is over. So the dodge kind of sucks too. It's like, if I have to stop attacking to do my dodge, why not just back up? It's almost just as fast. Checkpoint. I feel like this game's gonna have a lot of moving platforms and it's just gonna really suck. We're in some kind of catacombs, okay. The fireballs can be blocked. Trying to block magic, I guess. Which it doesn't really matter because. Yeah, I still take damage. Oh gosh, I can just jump over it. Okay. So I can't even like hit these back or anything, I guess. The 
is okay to step on. The air turns foul as the skeleton executioner awakens. Is this the skeleton executioner? Well, that guy was easy. Oh, that's the skeleton executioner. Okay. Uh, can I do anything with him? Do I have to block his attack? Maybe I read the achievements wrong. Oh yeah. Oh, that was pretty sick. Oh, I don't lose any health if I get the block perfect. What? So I have to get perfect blocks on anything if I'm gonna block. Hang on one second. Let me just look at this. Okay, so I can lose health. I just can't lose health on any of the bosses. And I can't lose a life. So I have to have a, a no death run. Ow. This ain't suck whenever there's more than one of them. That activated moving platform. What is this? Uh, just some health. Okay. Wasn't there a checkpoint like right back there? Trapped in the hive. Oh, this is the hive. Oh, if I don't get hit, I think I get an achievement. No, no. Okay. Hang on. So this is the hive. Kill every beholder in the hive without losing using mana. Okay. So I can lose health, I just can't use any mana. There's the achievement. Mana war. Okay. And the path forward is open. Oh. I'm used to playing Dark Souls where things get like staggered whenever I hit them. And these guys don't get staggered at all. Oh my gosh, that guy just destroyed me. I have to do the hide again. Oh, I can hit. Hang on. I can hit these little balls back. Well, if I was good, I could. Whoa. Okay. I think there's an achievement for that too. Okay, there is. I have to kill 30 enemies with reflected projectiles. So, we will be going for that from now on. There's also a point later in the game, I guess, that has to do with uh, ice blasts. Oh my goodness. That was way too many at once. Come on. All right, there's one, there's two. I think that's three so far. Unless there was one that I didn't count. And I can't reflect the, oh, I can reflect those, what? Okay, well, if I was good, I could. Oh my gosh, these are so fast. Dude. That timing is so hard. It looks a, that's a hard, a lot harder than it looks. Like, jeez. There's like no indication of when they're gonna shoot. Okay. Great. Thank you for that. Probably gonna get the achievement here just from trying to get it. Like, ah, oh. I 
Dude. that page. Does it even one-shot him? Does he even kill them at all? No, it doesn't. That magic just stuns the skeletons. And I can get a critical hit off of it, though. So anytime anything is stunned, I guess I can just get a critical hit off of them. Come on. Triple kill, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh heck yeah. It's the first time I beat that without any damage taken. Alright, there we go. There's the achievement. Right back at ya. Achievement complete. Let's see, how many do we need? We have five of thirty. Uh I did get like three achievements, I think, just by starting the game. But uh, let's look at the global stats, actually. Okay, so the global stats. Uh, so there's like the easy achievements. Uh, the first three are like the easy ones, which I had already gotten. And then we got two. And then it just drops, so like 10% of players have it. And the last achievement, the defeat the game without losing a single life, only 0.7 players have gotten that. So, I guess we're in for a challenge. So we don't have to worry about shooting things back anymore uh, unless it's really beneficial for us so it's oh no. do I get any health back or anything it's so annoying it's like I can't get close to anything for very long because these guys do get stunned like if I if I do my combo, uh, I think my second attack stuns them, and, or not like not like stuns to where I can get a critical hit, but it um, makes it to where they like back off. These guys only take two hits. I wonder why. They look scarier than the normal ones. These guys get stunned now too. Why are those other guys? Like this mage guy, he won't get stunned. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Things hurt. They look like the background. That's very annoying. 
And we got a big dude. We're gonna have to parry. Oh, we have to parry him twice. Okay. Easy enough. These guys just take one hit. And these guys spawn infinitely. Where is this red grass stuff? Okay, it's just red grass. Like this stuff, it hurts you, but it looks like the background. Oh, I thought for sure I had that. There it is. We can't die. Why does he take so much damage? You guys take like five or six hits. That guy only takes three. Why did that other guy take like four? These guys are super annoying with their range. And he goes underground. And he got stunned right there, but now he didn't get stunned. So is there a chance for him to get like, I guess not stunned, I need to stop saying that, like uh, dazed. Freaking hits does he take? No! Uh. Oh, and these guys still spawn behind. That's nice. go that way because that spawns I need to remember to let this guy always attack first no matter what all right attack I'm trying to use my dodge and get used to it but I really I really just don't like it at all Honestly. Probably gonna be like a core mechanic for most of the bosses though. First boss, who dares defile my sanctuary? Fresh man blood. My seedlings will thrive. Step aside, creature, or I will be forced to cut you down. Yes, try and feel the baleful prick of my thorns. Your rotting corpse will nourish my soul. Soil. Soul, soil. Okay, so he does that attack. Is that all he does? No. Okay, so how do I get behind him? I guess I don't. I just have to keep him. Ow. Jeez, that move is annoying. So. How do I dodge that, dude? I don't jump very high. And why did I just get a critical? Okay, that was really bad. Okay, so let's just like dodge these. Okay, now he's ready to attack. Okay, now he's doing this again. Now he's gonna attack again. 
He's gonna do this again. Okay, I think once he gets to a certain point, yeah, he starts doing this. Okay, so I can jump over it. And I guess he's stunned right then? Ow. Yeah, okay, so he gets stunned. But you can't get close to him. What? You can't get close to him because of those. So how do I get there in time for the stun? Uh, that barely made it. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's restart from checkpoint. Because we, we pretty much killed him right there. Uh, but let's see if we can do it without getting hit once. Why is he going for the attack? What? Why is he not spawning the vines? That was super weird. Okay, so I guess he's gonna... I hate that dodge. It needs to go in the direction that I'm facing, not the opposite. Oh my gosh, why do I keep doing that? I need to just not use it. Well, I guess I have to. to get away from that fast enough. Okay, there's that. Why is he not spawning those at the very start anymore? Like, that's what he was doing the entire time. We were trying to learn his pattern. And now he's just not. So it's like... Okay, now he's doing it. Now he's not. Oh, that was close. Okay, so once we get him to about half health... Ugh. I don't know why I just stood there and did that. Now he's doing this at the start. This is so stupid. So he did three. He did three that time. Okay, we only have to hit him three times whenever he goes into the second phase. It's just so random when he switches. It's like it just flips a coin on what he's gonna do. Sometimes that phase lasts a long time, sometimes it lasts like one second. Of course. 
I can't get too close to him to attack him because if I get too close to him while attacking him, I just lose health because my body hits his. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm not watching my character, I'm watching his hand. So I kind of run into him a lot more. Okay, that didn't even block. Jumping attacks do more damage. I see. I felt that much. They do. Okay. So that's an interesting note. So jumping attacks do more damage. Understand if I'm if I'm using my block. How does he hit me like that? Even if I don't get a perfect block, it should still block it. No, oh, I got too greedy in my mind. Just went for it, and then I decided I better not. kind of dumb that they should make it like the second block hit that you get uh, deals damage or something they should have like a bar that says oh you can only block this amount before your guard is broken or something it's not like like if you don't get a perfect oh my gosh if you don't get a perfect block, then you just, you already took a hit. And then the achievements are all like, don't take any hits on this boss. Like, that's really stupid.
I got him. Thorn in my herbicide. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> Demolished. Zero damage taken. He has slain a thorn beast. It's foul essence leaves. Something, something, something. Okay, so that was the very first boss. Wow.